In today's episode of Living the Dream, we are going to chase down the Papa John's trophy, what might be the last opportunity that we have at it. Hit like and subscribe, let's go live the dream. What's up guys, Chasing Lame here with episode number 57 of Living the Dream, and today we start our Papa John's Trophy Southern Section Group B campaign against Tottenham's under-23s. Since we last met, and I've got to try to remember where we last met, which I believe was the defeat against Bristol Rovers in the Carabao Cup. It's been a couple of weeks since I did some recording, can you tell? We drew 0-0 with Charlton in the league, which is a bit uneventful. Not a lot of great performances there. Then we beat Northampton 5-2 in League 1, with Jamie Dixon getting a brace, Laurie Mascara, Freddie Barson and Gary Petty getting on the score sheet. So all very straightforward stuff there. But let's get straight into this and let's see if we can get a result against Spurs and see if there's any... In fact, let's see now. Are there any old favourites in this team we should be, we should be paying attention to? Last time we came up against couple of players we knew. Looks like there's no players we really know. So Oliver Skip, who if you're watching the Leeds series, Oliver Skip is in my squad. He's in my squad at Leeds. So maybe maybe he's our, our token danger man today. Let's go find out. So our starting out today is Harry Starkey in goal. Larry Lear right back. Mascara, Chatfield and Barry Lee complete the back line. We've got Cissé on the right wing. Jeffries, Hardy, Dixon in the field. And then Petty and French up top with Finner and Kirk. Watson, Marsh, King, Barton and Hadaway on the bench. A few players who are missing or injured for various reasons. Marco Russ is just not fit. We have got Marshall Wickham as well, not quite fit. Michael Curtis, again, not quite fit. Mashevsky, not quite fit. So a few players missing, a few players you'd expect to start. But, you know, we will, as always, make do the best we can. I had a quick look at the Spurs squad and they have gone interestingly strong they put Harvey White in the team they put Oliver Skip in the team and they put Ryan Sessegnon in the team so no pressure no pressure at all in the dressing room we could effectively secure qualification to the southern set yeah let's do that <laughs> that's a lot of words let's do that it's done nothing to be fair you only play three games in this group stage so a win does tend to secure you promotion if you get a win at any time you tend to go through so let's see if we can get that win today build a secure base for this Free kick for Spurs, though, right away. Chapman is going to be the guy taking it. Let's just head this away. That'd be nice. We haven't headed it away. Brooklyn Lions Foster has managed to get the first goal of the game for Spurs. I'm going to yell some encouragement to try and get these guys back focused on the game. It is a bit of a strong Spurs side. I mean, they're in the 23s. You'd expect they've got a good use system. If you've ever had a long-term save with Spurs, you know... They have a pretty strong youth system. They tend to churn out quite a lot of good youngsters. So this isn't going to be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. Throw in for Spurs. I've just realised I was wrong. This is the second game we've played in the Papa John's Trophy this season. And uh, we've won the first one. Because, you know, like I said, it's been, a while, it's been a while since I've done a recording because I went away for a couple of weeks. But, uh, yeah, we just need to get ourselves a win. That's the plan here. So Mascara on the ball. Can we find an equaliser before we think about winning? Let's try and find an equaliser. Cissé picks up the ball on the right-hand side. He is a former Spurs man, former Spurs youngster. Tries to play in Petty and doesn't quite find him. And that's with Ollie Skip. White to Fatal. Fatal? Fatai? There we go. Sessegnon to Chapman. And we've really got to regroup here, get back. Because if we can see the second goal, we could be in a lot of trouble. We could have some problems. Ball goes through. Chapman's getting on the end of it. We were looking for an offside that wasn't going to come. We've tried a tackle with Barry Lee. It's not really come off. Fatai, he's put it away. Kelvin Fatai. And that's time to, I mean, I guess berate the boys because that's unacceptable going 2-0 down without even 20 minutes on the clock is not really the one for us. It's not what we're looking for. Some really poor defending from Barry Lee on the left-hand side as well. And that finish, and that's a great finish, but we should have defended that much better. And now it's time to really think about making, making a few switches, a few changes. We've got ourselves a corner. Finally, some attacking action. Jeffries picks up the ball. Plays it back to Larry Lee. Larry Lee across the box looking for Chatfield. It's all disallowed for offside. I did make a small tactical change. I've dropped our defensive line back a little bit. Because we are playing for offside as well. And I think there's quite a lot of pace in Spurs' attack. So I thought maybe maybe it was just a good idea to you know try and defend a bit better. Throw in for Spurs. Davies finds Traore to Fatai. Ball goes into the box. Mascara heads it away to Jeffries. And can we hit them on the break here? Big hoofing ball up forward looking for Kieran French. Kieran French finds his way into the box. Can he finish it though? Not on his left foot and not 
not from that angle is the answer. Throw him with Barry Lee for us. He throws it I mean, away, basically. Hardy picks up the ball for us from the header, though. Puts it across the area, looking for Cissé. Cissé heads on to Petty. And again, disallowed for offside. And this feels like it's going to be the story of the match for us, which every time we get a chance, it's going to get disallowed. And I'm not sure that was offside, to be honest. I don't think that was offside. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure he was level. But, you know, the game knows best. French on the ball now, plays it back for Dixon. Dixon, can he find the option out left? He doesn't. Gets a ricochet to Hardy. Hardy back to Chatfield. Ball, but finally goes out to Barry Lee, who was waiting forever there. Hardy into the box, looking for Kieran French. Kieran French disallowed for offside again. How do we keep getting disallowed for offside? I a beggar's belief. A beggar's belief. That's where the ball went. Again, he's level. I mean, who Spurs are, are clearly paying off the officials at this point because there's no way all three of those were offside. I refuse to accept that. We're getting done. We're getting done by the match engine. It's half time. We're going to go into the dressing room. We're just going to sort of maybe tear, tear some new assholes. If I'm honest, I mean that didn't work. Maybe maybe not throw the water bottle. Uh, <laughs> I I may have just completely cocked that up. Who knows? Maybe someone will finally get the idea to play football. With a couple of players, Dixon and Petty, not looking great right now. Free kick, Hardy puts it into the box, Maguire fists it away and Chapman's on it, and we're in real trouble here because I don't think there's many people back. There are two guys back and neither of them look particularly lively. Chapman's just kind of found his way past all of them. Hazeman on the ball. Can we get in, in between him and the goal? I mean, Starkey is there. But that was unspectacular and it's going to be time for Dixon to come off, I think. Well, that's full time. I made three changes. I sent Hadaway on, I sent Barton on, I sent Watson on. As you can probably tell, literally nothing happened beyond that point, and that might send us out of the Papa John's trophy, which is slightly, slightly inconvenient. We're going to say we're far from pleased with that result. That may have sent us all the way out of the Papa John's trophy, because that will put Spurs on six points, and we do have one game left where we can get six points, I think. But, or can we? My brain's completely failed to remember how this works, how this system works. We do have one more game left. We can still get ourselves out of the group stages, but we do have to win the next game, which off the top of my head, I guess, is late in Orient, because I assume we played. I'm fairly sure I remember playing Wickham. Well, I'll quickly look in a second. I'm pretty sure I remember playing Wickham at some stage. Late in Orient we played. So we play Wickham next, which is a long way down the road. We won't go to that game next. We'll, leave, we'll save that for another day. I think we're going to come back. What's dead in the middle here? I think we'll come back for the Fleetwood game, and then we'll do the two cut games back to back. So we'll come back for Fleetwood because that makes sense to me, and then uh, yeah, we'll keep we'll keep moving on as we do. We'll keep moving forward. Anyway, guys, in the meantime, thank you for watching. You can find me on the socials below. I'm on Twitter, Insta, and Patreon at Chasing Lamely. Don't forget to like and subscribe, which is always something I can't find because perspective issues. <laughs> Magic graphic to remind you to like, subscribe, ring the bell, hit the all notifications button, tell you when I go live, I go live up once a week in the FM Premier League, and the FM Premier League got quite exciting recently, so definitely get involved in that one. Anyway guys, in the meantime, thank you for watching, I have as always been Chasing Lamely, and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.